Morbius, um, the... See, we know automatically what you think by the way you said Morbius. Say it again. I went to see this yesterday. I paid, because it's, it opened... Did it open yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. Anyway. State of this fucking form on the mic. So I went to the cinema to pay... To, I paid to send somebody to go and see it because it wasn't an early press show. I think they did a press show on Wednesday night. So... This is the, I forget which universe is which now, I really do, but spider adjacent origin story that I don't remember anyone crying out for. Spider adjacent. That's what I think it's now what it's right. called. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, so Jared Leto is Michael Morbius, who is. Said it's, it's Jared Leto. It's Jared Leto. Leto. Right. Essentially, a thinner. Um, version of that deeply uninteresting, enigmatic character he played in Little Things. Remember that? You know, which, uh, which it was the central mystery character who was kind of like a cross. He's loving it, man. Look. Things. Remember that? You know, which, uh, in which it was the central. Look at that. Everybody fucking loves a bad review, didn't they? Everybody loves a bad review, man. Yes, he's going to get tore in, man. Yes. Central mystery character who was kind of like a cross between Jesus and Charles Manson, but with a pot belly. And this is basically the same thing, but sort of a bit thinner. Anyway. He is a medical genius with a rare disorder who uses bats to develop a cure for the disorder, which does indeed make him better, but turns him into a bloodsucker, which is a downside. Sorry. Clip. As a result of my procedure, I have an overpowering urge to consume blood. For the first time in my entire life, I feel good. Yesterday, I could barely walk today. I don't know what I'm capable of. I have the constitution of an Olympic athlete. You know, you know what the mad thing is? See him, Jared Leto. Um, have you noticed that he's, he's no, he's, he, he's never, never plays the lead in anything. He's never, if you noticed that, he was in, um, he was in, what did I first see him in? Probably first saw him in uh, Requiem for a Dream. Genuinely 50. What is he, is he saying he's, he's no fit? What? I'm capable of. Yesterday I can barely walk today. I don't know what I'm capable of. I have the constitution of an Olympic athlete. Increased strength. Mm -hmm. the major, I have an overpowering urge to consume blood. For the first time in my entire life, I feel... I missed a bit. Um, he was in Requiem for a Dream, and then he was in... Uh, what else does he want? Is it... Was it Dallas Buyers Club? And he was in another song that is a fucking joker, that shit. Um, Fight Club, I don't remember that. Oh, he was in a bit. He was in um, American Psycho. Never! Uh, and he was in... Um, that Blade Runner, that new Blade Runner one. He's always kind of somebody else. He's, all, he's never like the lead. Know that that matters. Know that that matters. But, um, I thought, I, I, I remember Requiem for a Dream, I kind of can't remember what he, how he was in it. But what, if, if I think about it, he's a fucking double a Jennifer Connelly who was in Requiem for a Dream. Would you agree? They're like fucking twins. They're identical in multiple ways. And I can't remember exactly if they look exactly the same in the... Uh, Good. For the first year, I have an overpowering urge. Identical. Blood. Honestly, sure I have an overpowering. See, but like that, you just got a glance. Just got a glance. It could be. I could be Jennifer. There. You just got a glance there, bang, and you looked away. It could be Jennifer Connelly. Right, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't put pictures of Requiem for a fucking dream up now. Uh, careful. Careful. Careful what you show. Careful what you fucking show.
right? Careful. A minute, a minute, a minute. Open image in your tab. Careful. Right, you, this doesn't quite look at here. It doesn't quite look at here, right? But uh, maybe they've got slightly different eye colors, but the fucking eyebrows are the same. The, 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 they're, they're so... I like... That's not even... That's not very, that's not very good, that, right? But there's other ones a lot... Honestly. Fucking identical. 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 Like, you just don't fucking know. You just don't know. You just don't know. You just don't, you just don't notice these things. You just think... I'm saying they've got the exact same eye colour or something. I'm talking about... You just want to notice. I'm talking about the distance between uh, the eyes, how far the eyes go in compared to the brow, where the, the eyebrows are, the triangle of the eyes to the nose and then down to the mouth, the distance between that and ratio to that. I see all these things all kind of like that, all drawn in front of me and all that, like on glass. You just think I'm going like that. Oh, look, they've got the same hair colour. No, his hair's dark, but hers is slightly lighter. They look nothing alike. You just don't, you just, you just don't, you just don't notice these things. I mean that in the nicest way. You just don't. Pickle thinks this up. Love this. I'm glad you're, glad you're loving it. You just don't. You just don't notice it. Identical. And I thought, oh, I, I kind of like him. I thought... Do you know does just mean you, you think he's good looking? Is that not really what it is? He's got, like, nice eyes. Do you know actually just think he's got nice eyelashes? Is that not, is that not what it is? Just think he's got kind of nice eyelashes. Could be it. I mean, is it... Like when he's when he's playing this part or playing that part, is it really him, or is it the character? Really, what is it? I mean, is it? Could anybody? Could anybody be doing this character? Could anybody be actually be playing it better? You know what I mean? I don't know. I've never anyway. I wouldn't have put him as the lead or something. I don't know. He is a medical genius with a rare disorder who uses bats to develop a cure for the disorder, which does indeed make him better, but turns him into a bloodsucker, which is a downside. Here's a clip. Right, so vampire. As a result of my procedure, I have an overpowering urge to... So science fiction, comic book science fiction -y vampire, so basically. Blood. For the first time in my entire life, I feel good. Sort of the volume's a bit low. Yesterday, I can barely walk. Today, I don't know what I'm capable of. I have the constitution of an Olympic athlete. Increased strength and speed. That can only be described as superhuman. And all of this on artificial blood. I'm looking at them right now. I'm looking at I've right now in this brief trailer. Different. And I'm not exactly seeing anything that makes me go like, oh my God, he's so shite, isn't he? In that 30 seconds, right? So it's not... <laughs> oh, oh, oh! So anyway, at first he, he says, oh, well, I'll just imbibe the blue synthetic blood which I made and that which nearly earned him a Nobel Prize, but then he walked off. But then his childhood friend, Lucian, who's called Milo, who's played by Matt Smith, Doctor Who Matt Smith, yeah. steals the cure and he steals the film. And uh, he then embarks on a bitey rampage for which Morbius has to clean up the mess. And uh, so the film's directed by Daniel Espinosa, who made... And indeed steals the film, did I just hear there? He steals the thing and indeed steals the film. Oh dear life if you remember and basically what it does is it recycles a bunch of riffs from other movies to which it cannot hold a candle so 
you get, you know, when Morbius first discovers his, his vampire powers, he does the thing about, you know, he's feeling really fit and he dances around, he jumps around the, the, fly. the, the lab like a gymnasium, exactly like Jeff Goldblum did in the fly back in the 90s. Right, there you are. There's this kind of fatal spark relationship going on, but he's dangerous because he's a vampire, exactly like they did in all the Twilight movies that everybody, except without any of the class or any of the charm, there's a boat in it that's called the Murnau, which is, okay, fine, so now we're referring Oh, we don't, we don't like things that don't have charm. We don't like things that are utterly without charm. Am I right? Which itself, of course, was the unofficial adaptation of Dracula, which got banned over here because of a copyright suit because, you know, Stoker's widow said, I'm sorry, you can't do that because that's actually Dracula. And then you've got the, the collation of the, you know, vampire themes with blood transfusion, which, of course, was done a million times better in Near Dark, the first film that Linda and I ever went to see, so which will always have a place in, in my heart. It Man, Trish, can't move on. Much that Jared Leto is paired on screen with Matt Smith, who's great. Matt Smith, who, you know, was really, really good in Last Night in Soho and really enjoyed being wicked, and whose character has all the fun and the interesting stuff to do, while Jared Leto just does the thing that Jared Leto does, of walking around being a charisma vacuum, who's got two modes of acting, which is overacting or nothing at all. <laughs> Jared Leto just does the thing that Jared Leto does, of walking around being a charisma vacuum, who's got two modes of acting, which is overacting or nothing at all. And, it, you know, you kind of think, well, if the other character... It's the very Kim Newman thing. I wish the film had been about the other person rather than about that person. So it trudges. In this, it's a character setup, which is like, well, I know the character setup. The character setup is that Morbius, the living vampire, has to do the thing, and then he becomes the vampire. And then there's a couple of end credit sequences, which are like, oh, yeah, well, all this trudging that you did from this bit to this bit, well, you know, it's great because there's going to be this other stuff, which I don't care about because, you know, I'm not coming back. So Suicide League, Suicide Squad, Justice League, Suicide Squad League, Justice, you know, it's he was the worst Joker anyone had ever seen. And there'd been loads and loads of Jokers, and he was the worst one anyone had ever seen. Of course, he did a brilliant Super Mario in um, in uh, House of Gucci, um, which that was the superhero movie. But, but the, the only remarkable thing, I mean, I found myself clawing my way through the film, trying desperately trying to stay awake because it's murky and muddy and messy and didn't make any nobody's interesting and was seven people in the audience and at least one of them left halfway through <laughs> only thing that's interesting about it is that it co-stars jared harris okay who's brilliant he's great who's that who's that oh um um yeah. All right. Which means that not only is Jared Harris not the best actor in the world, he's not even the best Jared you mean in Jared, Morbius. You mean Jared, Jared Leto? Jared Leto. It's not even the best Jared in Morbius. It's, oh, it's... Uh, I just... Enough with the origin leave. stories we didn't ask. Stop, up, leave. Enough with the... You know, enough with the doing the... Just enough, enough. Oh, enough dear. what? Though? Enough, Jared. Well, I, you know, I, maybe Jared, maybe Jared Leto will will do something really, really exciting. But yeah, and and actually, the whole thing is, like I said, it's so naff that I even fluffed the Jared Harris line. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Oh, he was looking forward to doing that as well. I think he's right about Jared Leto that the acting. I've not seen the fucking film, obviously, but Jared Leto and. Uh, da Dallas Buyers Club, I felt it was kind of, there was a sort of overacting way and other things, like, it's just like he can't just fucking he can't just be the he can't just be the fucking person he can't just be the person just act he gets he seems seems to get caught up in the this is um this is important this is this this is this is a good one. This this is a good character. This is, this is a good one, and and he fucking um. What makes him no good? What is it? It's it's, it's funny. Good acting. It's hard to put a finger on. Creamy. Smudge. Thanks for the subs. Man, back the trailer. Oh, I, 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 well, bats, bats. I can, ima I can imagine watching that film and actually fucking liking it. Yeah, yeah. 
Veya ya. Give me a fucking break, man. <laughs>